he, Dr. Peter Daszak, who for everybody, um, just a refresher, if you're what, if you're new to Lab Leak 101, um, <laughs> here's the chain of events. Dr. Fauci, who we all know, the hero of the pandemic, he's the head of the N- NIAD, the National Institute of Something Infectious Diseases. Anyway, he's in charge of giving grant funding. So he funded this type of research called gain-of-function research, where he actually reversed the ban on it that the Obama administration had. That is the theory that in labs you should manufacture new types of viruses so that you can then fight against pandemics. Well, there was a lot of conversation around gain-of-function because it was said to be dangerous and a possible lab leak. Okay, so part of the funding was funneled through a group called Eco Health Alliance, which is headed by Dr. Peter Daszak. Now, Daszak, who has a direct hand here in funding the lab, also happened to be on the WHO World Health Organization investigation team into whether there was a lab leak. And he says there was no lab leak. When you ask him, he goes, well, I asked them and they said there wasn't. But he also has been covering up a lot of facts which are not convenient. And as she said, as Sky News Australia pointed out, going and looking there at his past statements saying that there were no bats inside of the Wuhan Institute of Virology, he's just been outright proven false. And this just gives a lot more credence mounting circumstantial evidence to the hypothesis that coronavirus is what leaked out of the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Now we have the information about the sick workers in the lab. We have now about the revelation that there were bats inside of the lab. Almost nothing that these people said was true has turned out to be true. And in fact, it turns out that if the lab leak hypothesis is true, it First of all, implicates Dr. Fauci and Mm -hmm. Dr. Peter Daszak, but it implicates the entire scientific community because they are the ones who've been pushing gain-of-function research, and basically, they're the ones who covered this this up from the very beginning because they don't want the money train to dry up. It all comes down to funding and to money. 